Pierce Morgan has been holed up at home in London since leaving Good Morning Britain after refusing to apologize for his comments about Meghan Markle. The decision was announced after he reportedly received 41,000 complaints. While the controversial host's six years on Good Morning Britain has come to an end, he has his choice of where he wants to kick back and relax. Pierce owns three properties including a luxury London townhome, a country retreat in Sussex, and a Hollywood mansion. And today we'll be taking a look. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Pierce Morgan is an English broadcaster, journalist, writer and TV personality. He started his career back in 1989 in Fleet Street as a writer and editor for different British tabloids and in 94 he became the youngest editor of a British newspaper at age 29 with News of the World. Morgan has hosted his own talk shows like Pierce Morgan's Life Stories and Pierce Morgan Live as well as being a co-presenter on shows like Good Morning Britain and acting as a judge on America and Britain's Got Talent. Over the years, Pierce has been involved in his fair share of scandals and is well known for his outspoken views and comments. Most recently, negative comments he made about Meghan the Duchess of Sussex after the Oprah with Meghan and Harry interview led to 41,000 complaints in him quitting Good Morning Britain. Whether you love or hate the controversial host, Pierce has amassed a net worth of about $20 million and has spent a fair chunk of that on real estate. While he's been staying at his London family home for the majority of the ongoing pandemic, he has three properties worth over $12 million altogether. This includes a beautiful villa mansion in Los Angeles, as well as a country home in Sussex. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. This time we're taking a look at the three properties of Pierce Morgan from London to Los Angeles and they're all super nice. On this channel we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered about their outfits or purchases? We recently started a new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and expensive items. Join us and be sure to subscribe. And in addition, in addition to showing off her expecting tummy with the belted waist, it also ties her to her home on the west coast. Let me explain. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Aside from his picturesque British properties, which we'll take a look at, Pierce also owns a mansion in Beverly Hills, which cost him about $5.3 million. He bought the property back in 2011, around the same time his wife Celia was giving birth at Cedar sinai Hospital in LA. Pierce splits his time between the UK and this jaw-dropping mansion that boasts features like a swimming pool and staff quarters for the help. It's a restored and updated 1929 Hacienda-style house, which spans 5,508 square feet with five five beds and 5.5 baths over two levels, plus those additional staff quarters. It's located in Beverly Hills on a third of an acre parcel that's shielded with trees and the home wraps around a gated and landscaped entry courtyard. Here there's a colorful and tiled fountain, vine covered terrace and an outdoor fireplace. The exterior staircase leads to an interior space above the garage that seems to be the staff or guest quarters. Inside the home is equally luxe and the common spaces include a large formal living room with wide plank wood floors, a fireplace, exposed wood beam ceiling, and French doors on opposite walls. There's a dining room with a unique ceiling design similar to the fireplace in the wood panel den. There's a charming bar here which is decked out with rustic English decor, including wood paneling and a small pendulum clock. The living room also offers enough space for Pierce, his wife, and his children to hang out together with its three couches. Of course, one lounge isn't enough when you're a celebrity, and elsewhere, there's another plush family room. The kitchen boasts wooden cabinets and butcher block and stone counters, and there's also a huge double fridge among the top great appliances. A short butler's pantry with two or more wine fridges connects this eating kitchen with the formal dining room. Pierce and his wife can enjoy this spacious upper level master suite with features like a fire place, two fitted dressing rooms, two ensuite baths, and a private terrace. The guest rooms here are also fitted with luxurious furnishings like four poster beds. While the backyard is compact, it's still the ultimate oasis, landscaped with gardens and a variety of tropical plants. There's a shaded dining area just off of the kitchen and family room, a terrace to sunbathe, and of course, a heated pool and elevated spa. The pool here seems to be a hit with the entire family, and Pierce's kids love it too. Pierce, of course, spends most of his time in London, where 
his main home is located and where he and the family have spent most of the ongoing pandemic times. He has lived in this home since 2009 when he purchased it from his father-in-law and former Tory MP, George Walden, for about $5.5 million. Situated on a peaceful tree-lined street, his Georgian home includes stunning features like French windows and balconies. The home is located in Kensington, an upscale district in West London, a neighborhood fit for celebrity status. Inside, the luxury townhome has a total of five bedrooms and it's listed as grade two, meaning there are efforts in place to preserve the original property. Over time, Pierce and his family have shown glimpses into their London home on social media so we can get an idea of what the place looks like. We've seen Pierce standing outside the residence, a Georgian townhouse with white exterior and trees flanking the iron gates. There is also a balcony with outdoor seating at the back of one of the sitting rooms where there are floor to ceiling curtains over the doors and striped chairs. His wife Celia has recently shown fans a peek inside as well when she posted a photo of Pierce vacuuming on Instagram. She captioned the pic, I want it all done by the time I get back from work. Also, you missed a bit. The photo showed one of the living rooms here, boasting wooden floors, light gray walls, and a white bookshelf covering one wall. Furnishings here include a cream suede sofa and a small wooden table at one side. Pierce showed off more of this room on Valentine's Day when he celebrated at home during the pandemic. There are more bookshelves on the other side, a light green chair, as well as a bunch of family photos. In another corner of the space, there's a flat screen TV and windows lined with burgundy curtains. Other photos included one inside the dining room where Piers enjoyed some red wine and a meal, and this room has cream colored walls and red and cream curtains at the windows. He's also shown one of his favorite art pieces that's on display at the home, a portrait of Fred Astaire which he found at a flea market. The London home also has a classic winding set of stairs with beautiful banisters backed by huge stained glass windows. Outside, the backyard and garden is surprisingly modest with no noticeable amenities. When Piers and the family get bored of the city life in London, they can hop in his Aston and drive out to their country retreat in Newark, East Sussex. Newark is a quiet village about an hour and a half's drive from London and makes for the perfect, peaceful getaway. The home here has a gravel driveway perfect for Piers' car collection and white frontage with ivy climbing up the walls and over the doors. It's assumed Piers would have spent upwards of $1 million on this home, considering the average four to five bedroom homes in the affluent area of East Sussex go for around that price. This sprawling country estate is ideal for summer parties with lots of outdoor furniture, including a wood dining area and sofa. Or you could get creative like Piers did during the pandemic when he and his family had a movie night in the garden with a huge blow up screen. The property at this home is massive compared to his small garden in the city and it's also full of wildlife. The Newick home could be mistaken for a park. Piers described the place like water shipped down when he shared a photo of the spacious lawn being explored by a group of rabbits. The country estate even boasts its own swimming pool complete with an alfresco dining table and seating. We can also see another angle of the garden has a gravel area with more seating, like brown wooden sofas and a coffee table. There's a barbecue here and potted plants, all of which leads to a small hill overlooking the village. Inside the Newick estate, there's a traditional dining room with oak furnishings and pine tables, as well as a country kitchen with cream cabinets, wooden countertops, and green tile walls. Piers even set up his home office at the vacation home, complete with a desk, laptop, printer, and TV to keep up with the news while he's away. Elsewhere, he has a piece of wall art that reads, I can only please one person per day. Today's not your day and tomorrow tomorrow doesn't look good either. Other decorations include family photos and a calendar. With that, I think I'll bring this house tour to an end. We've checked out the three properties of controversial host Pierce Morgan, including his main London townhouse, his Sussex getaway, and his villa-style mansion in Beverly Hills. After looking at his homes, what did you guys think? Which was your fave? I like that his British homes look lived in and cozy, like they're actually a home. It looks like somewhere a family would live and not too stuffy, especially for a celebrity. The LA house looks perfect for when Pierce and his family are visiting the West Coast too. That one or the country home in Sussex were probably my favorite because they both have pools. Let me know which of the three you would choose to live in down in the comments. Subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I love reading your comments on there and getting to chat. We'll link you my latest video. Hey guys, it's Kara. Welcome back to my channel. I was asked who is my first. Basically, the guy that I was actually dating was coming to the house of the guy that I was hanging out with and I wasn't supposed to be hanging out with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you want to see featured next on this channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.
Thank you.